Okay, good morning, Wednesday the 8th of August. Yes, that's the right month. <laughs> we just stayed here. You wouldn't actually believe there's a, a hostel there. That's probably the best place you've stayed in Uzbekistan, really. So, Sakura Hostel. Extremely good place. So, um, yeah, we're off to Andijan today. Andijan. A little bit less than 75 kilometers today. Starting off a bit later though, because the guy in there gave us a free cup of coffee and a cake, so it's quarter to seven today. But we'll see if I can get there by lunchtime. Okay, it's the... We're just leaving the outskirts of Pagana now. So should be another fairly flat day. Let's see what we see on the way. Entering the town of Kiva. So far, nothing too interesting this morning. It's a normal cycle ride, flat roads. It's pretty normal, really. So, one thing we've noticed in Uzbekistan is it's a very clean country. They like sweeping. Also, they like sweeping even the earth here. You can see uh, this has also been swept. We've seen many times they just sweep away the dust. So, you can see they've done it here outside the house here. Mm. It's like the side of the house, you don't find right next to the road here. It's not like the, in front of the door, it's just on the side of the mm -hmm. house. We don't actually understand the point. No, oh, they just like sweeping. Yeah. Also, we have seen they don't, there are not so much uh, workers on the road or nothing. The, the roads are very clean. Mm -hmm. Everywhere is clean. Mm -hmm. been dreaming of yogurts for the past hour or so. I think I may have spotted some over there. Let's go and see. <laughs> we lucky once again. They actually did have yogurts, eggs and uh, bread and nice place to sit here. Bye bye. Not much has happened today apart from uh, nice breakfast there and uh, that's really nice and quiet and then just wanted to take a selfie at the end of the two waiters but then all of a sudden about 15 people turned up <laughs> so it was a big group photo that was nice right back on the road now we've got about 25 to do until we get to Andy Dijon so that should be okay should be there by lunchtime again so. That's how it goes now. Break my world. Please don't break my world. And our breakfast there with uh, tea and a loaf of bread, five eggs, three yogurts, cost uh, one pound sixty, about sixteen krona. So it's a uh, quite good value, really. Town full of chaos. <laughs> Have to get used to. <laughs> Jamie likes chaos. <laughs> now this chaotic town full of sooty cars is called Asaka. Not too far from Andijan. Even though it looks chaotic, it all seems to flow in some kind of strange way. Please don't break my world. Please don't break. I just 
came through the town of Asaka. I'd, not too sure what happened there because the, all of a sudden the whole town looked like it had been destroyed by something. To, not sure what it was. So, now we're starting to enter a more Islamic area of Uzbekistan. You see a lot of the women now wearing headscarves, examining Islamic clothes. So, this area now, Andijan and Osha are known for that. Hello, hello. Always watch out for a um, bike full of grass. Void load. And a car with sh I haven't actually seen much today, it's been mainly suburbs and towns the whole way, I haven't seen much countryside. We're only 10 kilometers from the town now, so yeah, hasn't been too much to look at today. That's the way it was today. Entering the city of Antizon. Uh, let's see what it's like here. Now, this is the center of Antizon. I think the hotel I've found is just here. Villa Elegant. Let's see if it is elegant. So this is another hotel I found on TripAdvisor and Google Maps. It's got good reviews. Must be the one of the best in the town. Let's see if they have a room here. Room here, and there's a surprise for Jamie. What is the surprise? Da, da, da. <laughs> What do you make of that, Jamie? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Let's see. I don't think that maybe time or no time. Because Betty wants to maybe eat lots of food in the restaurant now. It's good we're here at lunchtime. So there's all afternoon to yeah. play. It's good we're not here in the... Six o'clock. Six o'clock. And I say uh, in the morning, Daddy, we need, maybe there are in, what is the town, I forgot. Osh. Oh, no, this town. Andishan. Andishan. Uh, there will be a good thing. So, yet another early finish, one o'clock. We've already checked into the hotel. Done all the selfies outside the hotel. With all the people that stop and ask us 100 questions. And now time for lunch. Before, what's Jamie going to do this afternoon? We eat in the swimming pool. And I think... But today I Should have gone to Kyrgyzstan tomorrow, but we may be tempted to stay one more day. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> so this is Hotel Elegant here in Andishan. It actually is elegant, so just decided we'll spend another day here. So we won't uh, go to Kyrgyzstan tomorrow. I think we'll stay here. And there's a swimming pool for Jamie, so I think he'll agree. <laughs> so we'll have a resting day tomorrow before we cross the border to Kyrgyzstan. So very good, very nice place. Jamie, what are you what are you doing? Now I'm sitting and have the massage and it's very good so oh <laughs> Daddy can you please turn the iPhone off and so I can relax here? Please. <laughs> okay, good night. Good night. Good sleeping. Okay, in Uzbekistan they like very much cake. This is the cake for today and this is Dad's cake and this is mom's cake. And this is the big selection of cakes. Just what a cyclist needs after a hard week.
Okay, so that was the end of uh, today. Now we're in Andijon. So uh, this will be the last city before we go to Kyrgyzstan. Yeah. Was actually our plan to go to Kyrgyzstan tomorrow and continue on to watch tomorrow, but uh, the hotel we turned up at is actually quite nice. There's a swimming pool, so uh, we'll stay here tomorrow, just enjoy a day more here, and then we'll do some planning for Kyrgyzstan and uh, spend the day resting, I think, before we tackle a new country so that's what we decided to do so um, we have a few days left on our visa as well so there's no rush we're in no hurry so we made a uh, good progress getting here so that's good but um, yeah today what well, the big excitement really is just pretty normal cycling 75 kilometers so uh, not much to look at on the way really so um, yeah that's the way it was today there'll be much more to see when we get to Kyrgyzstan and there'll be much more adventurous again and uh, mountains and hopefully camping so that's all really for here um, we'll be here tomorrow resting and uh, planning and then uh, see you on the bikes again when we travel to Kyrgyzstan in two days time <laughs>